Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 49 for our Paul Alto Firewall training series. In this video, we are going to see Paul Alto Firewall with log forwarding. So in this video, we are going to understand what is syslog server, what is the benefits of syslog server, how we are going to configure log forwarding in Paul Alto Firewall so that we can send the logs to the log server and we are going to see with the help of practical example and also i'll show you how we can troubleshoot with syslog server and the, the syslog server that we are using is a splunk uh, which will be like widely used in all the industry so i will request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand and you can apply in your real time troubleshooting because syslog servers are really really helpful when it comes to troubleshooting any firewall related issues. Also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay let's get started. So friends first of all we'll understand what is syslog. So before we understand this, try to understand the meaning of the word is system log, right? So basically with the help of sys syslog protocol, what exactly it does with the help of this diagram, we'll try to understand it. So no matter what device, is it a PC or a server or a wireless device or any other networking device, if it generates any events, We'll talk about the events a little bit later, but just try to understand if it generates any events with the help of syslog protocol, it sends that information to the syslog server so that we can see that particular event. Okay. Now we'll try to understand what kind of events it will be. Friends, uh, with the help of this diagram, we'll try and understand what kind of events it will be. So whenever you see the events attached with the time, okay, the date and the time and uh, the local debug IP address and this is the log syslog message and what kind of message it is. Okay. So basically there are a lot of messages type or a label of messages. What you are seeing right now, it is level seven. So no matter what device it is, whether it's a Cisco device or it's a 48 device or no matter what kind of device it will be, it generates with the label of syslog message. Okay. So label with uh, it starts from zero till seven. So whenever we turn on any debug, debug meaning that i am turning on all the logs which i want to see from the device no matter what small events that gets generated it will be visible in debug messaging so uh, that's what whenever we talk about debugging we are opening all the messages what the system is generating for okay now you will be seeing informational notification, warning messages, error message, critical alert and emergencies. Okay. So by the help of these messages, the syslog messages like the syslog servers act accordingly. So you have to configure it that if you get any kind of message, which is more than three, like let's say if we get a message, uh, a level three message, you will get a email alert saying that this device has generated le level three or memory utilization or memory high utilization or low memory, something like that. One, once it generates a level three severity messages, you will get an email alert saying that this is what is happening, which gets generated by the syslog messages. This is a practical exam example that I'm telling you. So you can do lot more thing with the syslog servers. Um, but for today, I'm just going to show you uh, the how exactly you are going to troubleshoot how you are going to find out any logs or something with the help of Palo Alto and I'll be using Splunk as a syslog server. 
okay how this works i'll explain you during the examples so the benefit if i talk about the benefits benefits of uh, syslog server so what happens is if you are not monitoring your device if something goes wrong in the device you'll never get to know until and unless you log in so let's say you have like maybe 100 of sites maybe uh, i if i talk about not 100 even if you have 50 sites not daily you will be logging to all the sites and checking all the devices so with the help of syslog messages like the device will be sending the message to syslog servers and by logging into the syslog servers you will be able to see what went wrong with which device which site so the syslog service is like in all the enterprise it is like you will be able to see that like maybe uh, no matter what kind of syslog servers they are using maybe they are using different vendors of syslog servers but yeah syslog servers will be there, there in all the enterprise businesses because this will be helpful for your not uh, the network firewalls or routers or switches it it will be helpful for your servers it will be helpful for your storage devices and all the networking devices okay so uh, we'll we'll go to the lab and we'll see how we are going to configure the syslog servers in Palo Alto device that will be uh, what are the steps that we need to follow so friends now we'll go to the lab and we'll configure log forwarding in Palo Alto firewall and we'll see how we can troubleshoot with the uh, syslog servers so let's get into the lab now so friends uh, this is our topology and we will be working on this topology so before we move on to the configuration part we'll just understand how it how the topology is so this interface is for our management purpose and this is our inside uh, a user so with the help of the inside user we will be initiating the connection which we, which goes to internet and we will be uh, the Palo Alto will be sending the logs to the log server so this is what we are going to do today and as I am putting the syslog server in outside basically the uh, uh, syslog servers will not be on the outside but for this lab I put it so you don't think or you don't uh, kind of uh, get an idea that syslog servers always sits in outside of the organization no it is not but yeah i for this lab i have just taken that that's all okay so let's move into the Paul alto dashboard now so friends uh, this is the dashboard of our Paul alto firewall okay now what we have to do is the first thing that we are going to do is we have to go to device okay and whenever you do anything first of all you have to check the service route from where that service should be reachable okay no matter what service that you want to use it so for for that reason uh, we have to change the service route by default all the traffic will be going to the management interface okay so for this syslog to work uh, the source interface will be one slash one because this is the one slash one it is reachable through this interface so we are going to change this and we'll click ok and we are done with the service route now we have to configure the syslog server okay so in the server profile in device in the server profile so maybe i will just enlarge okay might be this will be visible for you guys okay now here we have to add it so we have to add a syslog server profile mm, you can name anything so for now i'm just uh, sys log test that's all i'm just typing it add here and we'll just name it server and here we have to add the ip address so for now our ip address of syslog server is 2.50 okay and this will be udp so you have to ask the syslog server team who manages that particular syslog server on what port number and what protocol that server is listening on so by default it will be running on 514 and udp so i have i'm also running on that particular port number 
so and apart from that like let's say if you want to do some kind of customization to your log format you can do that let's say for the configuration if you want to add some of the things only that kind of uh, in uh, configuration logs that you want to receive you will be getting that kind of logs that's all okay so i'm not doing anything i'm just uh, sending the default customs logs okay so we'll just click okay and we are done with the server profile now we have to create a log profile okay so we will be going to the object okay and then log profile log forwarding okay and we are going to add it here okay so uh, sys log profile i'll just uh, randomly i'll just i'm just naming it so this will also be the test okay add a name okay here i am just adding a name okay this is for log forwarding this you your you can uh, use it in different different uh, purpose as well so if you want to use it for auth logs if you want to use for de decryption data tunnel for right now we are just using for traffic logs okay so sys log traffic okay and here if you want to add us snmp or email id or something like that for now we are just adding the syslog test that's all okay 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 now we are done with the log forwarding profile and we are going to just click okay and we have to commit this okay so let it commit and we have to implement in the security policy so once this commit has happened properly we'll implement in the policy okay so friends now we can see that uh, whatever the configuration we did it was correct and the commit was successful now we have to enable that particular log forwarding so you have to find it out which log that you want to forward so for now i'm just testing the user that is sitting here wants to go to internet so i'll be checking the internet policy which is going from inside to outside so i'll be enabling the log forwarding here so if you are enabling to different uh, policy you will not be able to see the logs which is expected from you okay so you have to choose that particular log accordingly so i'll just commit this as well uh, i'll just pause the video for a while uh, until the commit process is going on and then i'll start it so friends commit process is completed now so we can see that in this uh, rule we have enabled the log forwarding which sends the logs to uh, the syslog servers uh, whenever this rule get hits so now we are going to log into this test machine and we'll try to initiate some of the traffic and we will go to the syslog server and try to check that okay so we'll try google.com and something like youtube.com something like this or maybe gmail.com something like this okay and maybe another tab now we will check whether we are getting any kind of uh, captures on this interface okay so we'll just do a packet capture on this interface whether we are sending any traffic on that particular okay so yeah we are sending uh, as you can see here we are sending a lot of syslog messages to 2.50 which was the ip address of the syslog server which is 2.50 so this palo alto is sending that particular syslog messages now we will go to the syslog this is a splunk logs and uh, we have i have set up this uh, splunk log uh, there are so many things that we can configure in splunk uh, for now uh, we'll just try to dig uh, so palo logs okay and now we can see there are so many logs that we can see over here and if we enlarge this we will be able to see from which host it is coming and now this is the log this is the timing okay 
दिस इज द एस एस एल इन साइड आउट ओके सो फ्रॉम जोन इन साइड इट इज गोइंग टू आउट साइड फ्रॉम इंटरफेस वन स्लैस वन टू वन स्लैस टू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्शन ऑल्सो वेर इज द एक्शन लाइक द वे आई सेट दिस अप आई गेस इट इज नॉट दैट वे बट या आई हैव जस्ट ट्राइड माई बेस्ट वे सो यू आर यू विल बी एबल टू सी अलाउ ओवर हियर ओके मे बी आई विल जस्ट ओके सो मे बी ओके इन स्टीड ऑफ दिस आई विल डू ओके सो नाउ इन दिस ट्रैफिक यू आर सींग अलाउड ओके सो दिस इज हाउ you will be able to see the logs i'm uh, i am not an expert setting up the syslog servers but yeah i have done it a uh, little bit of it but yeah i'll try to explore more in the splunk and try to post some of the videos if you guys want it okay so now as you can see over here that the traffic is uh, going through uh, the syslog server and this is how it works and this is what i wanted in this uh, this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you liked it please give it a like button if you want that how i set up the splunk log and what are the configuration that we do what are the settings that we can do in the splunk side i if you want if you comment it i'll try to uh, make a video on that that is a separate series it will be and i'll try to cover it okay so please do comment for that and also i'll request you uh, for subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much for uh, watching this and supporting me i'll see you in the next